New data on the Republican health care bill that recently passed in the House. The plan would ultimately double the number of uninsured. Well, that's according to the latest findings just released today by the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office. KCAL 9's Peter Doubt takes a closer look at the bill and what lawmakers in both parties are saying. Peter? Yeah, Lena and Jeff, both parties in Congress look to the Budget Office for estimates on the impact of legislation. So today's much anticipated report is casting a new shadow over the Republican health care bill. And it's expected to make it tougher to get through the Senate. House Republicans celebrated the passage of their health care bill with President Trump at the White House earlier this month. But Wednesday, the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office released a report estimating 23 million more Americans would lose health coverage by 2026. That means almost one in five people under age 65 would be uninsured, compared with one in 10 under Obamacare. In addition, the report says many consumers would see skimpier health coverage and higher deductibles. Lawmakers narrowly approved this latest revised measure, which would trim $119 billion from the deficit in the next decade. And it would reverse many of the changes made by Obamacare. I wouldn't want to repeat the health care experience, but I'm glad we went through it. I thought it was very cathartic. I'm glad we went through it because what it did is it got our members to acknowledge that they had to come to consensus. A big chunk of savings comes from an $834 billion cut in Medicaid funding. Democrats are using the CBO's numbers to argue the Republican plan hurts poor Americans while creating additional tax breaks for the wealthy. This report ought to be the final nail in the coffin of the Republican effort to sabotage our health care system. Our job is to come together and improve the Affordable Care Act. That means lower deductibles lower co-payments, lower prescription drug costs. Republicans in the Senate are now meeting behind closed doors to draft their own legislation. This much is absolutely clear. The status quo under Obamacare is completely unacceptable and totally unsustainable. But without any votes from Democrats, Republicans will have to come up with a replacement plan that nearly every GOP senator will support. The future of any health care overhaul is now in the hands of the Senate, and so far, Jeff and Lena, there is no timetable.